हे वसअप गाइज दिस इज बाय फ्रस्ट यू वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो टुडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट वीटा थ्री के इमिलेटर्स बेस्ट सेटिंग्स एंड आई विल बी मेकिंग अ फिक्स वीडियो फॉर ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच यू गाइस आर फेसिंग बी श्योर टू कमेंट डाउन बिलो एंड लेट मी नो व्हाट इश्यूज डू यू गाइस फेस व्हाइल इमिलेटिंग गेम्स ऑन वीटा थ्री के एंड्रॉइड विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स जस्ट गेट स्टार्टेड विद द बेस्ट सेटिंग्स वंस यू ओपन द इमिलेटर यू विल हैव टू गो टू द कॉन्फिगरेशन टैब व्हिच यू सी राइट हियर Afterwards go to settings you don't need to change any of these core settings you can keep the modules mode to automatic and that's about it for this afterwards we can go to cpu in cpu backend you'll get this uh, drop down menu where the only option present is dynamic so you just have to keep the cpu backend as default enable optimization be sure to enable it and after you change every single setting make sure to click on the save button so that your settings will be saved let's go to the gpu section Now renderer as you know Vita 3K Android uses Vulkan renderer so you cannot change this to OpenGL for now you can also add custom drivers or remove custom drivers the GPU will be set to default now let me tell you guys something the official developer of Vita 3K Android ports recommend you guys to use the turnip driver to get best performance and get a better gameplay experience overall but these turnip drivers can only be used on devices with Adreno GPU so you need to have a Snapdragon processor Android device if you want to add this turnip drivers so you can import the turnip drivers from your internal storage afterwards you just have to click on this drop down menu and select the latest version of turnip which you have imported once you select it you will need to restart as it says gpu restart to apply so you'll need to close off vita 3k android but if you guys want smoother textures in a game you can enable uh, anti aliasing internal resolution upscaling this is another option which is not really recommended if you are trying to emulate high end games on vita 3k android In simple terms after you upscale your resolution the game will look way better but the fps which you'll get will be horrible depending on the game which you are trying if you are trying to emulate game like god of war persona or uncharted i recommend you guys to keep it at 1x anisotropic filtering keep it at 1x as well i'll keep the internal resolution to 2x for now so you can emulate games at 1080p resolution Let's go to system. In this section, I recommend you guys keep the setting as default. Let's go to emulator. Now here are further settings for emulation. Audio backend, keep it at QBeb. Enable NGS support, make sure to tick mark it. Uh, texture cache, make sure to enable it as well. Now performance overlay, this is the option which I recommend you guys enable to see how well the game is actually running on your device. So you can keep the detail to low if you want some basic information about the FPS which you are getting. Position, keep it at top. left or any position which you prefer and if you want further performance information like cpu usage etc then i recommend you guys to keep it at maximum but be aware that it will take up a little part of your screen now afterwards let's go to gui now these are the settings which are not related to emulation of games with these settings you can customize the ui of vita 3k android you can disable grid mode or enable grid mode depending on your visual preferences you can also scroll down enable asia region front support afterwards uh, we can change the background alpha so i'll keep it at 0.012 so we'll just go ahead and click on the save button now save button as you can see will not be visible but you'll have to make sure to save because if you just go to gpu enable turnip driver if you restart your vita 3k emulator without clicking on the save button down here then the gpu will go back to default so make sure after you select the turnip driver Uh, make sure to click on the save button and only after that restart your vita 3k emulator now let's head on towards the network settings psn status you can click on online signed in signed out etc doesn't really matter you can also enable http if you want to browse internet so it doesn't really matter click on save then click on close and that's going to be the proper uh, configuration for vita 3k android Now let's just go ahead and try playing the Uncharted Golden Abyss with the turnip drivers and 2x resolution scaling and see how well does the game actually work. Now I would like to uh, again mention that uh, the emulation on Vita 3K Android is not stable. So here we go. Let me just go ahead and click on skip movie. The game has glitched out really really bad. Now I have decreased the internal resolution upscaling. I recommend another thing if you are suddenly getting texture issues which you were not facing before. Just click on clean shaders catch and log afterwards click on save click on close let's reopen the game and this time the game should work without giving uh, the texture issues which we saw before now as you can see the texture issues are significantly less than what it was before let's click on 
uh, start let's click on continue let's click yes that's going to be my personal uh, tested best settings for vita 3k emulator android let me know in the comment section down below if this video was helpful to you guys let's close the journal and as you guys can see right here the texture issues have now been fixed in uncharted and the game is working really well at 30 fps and the average fps is 31 so you can see with the help of turnip drivers and a few configuration tweaks the games surely are playable thanks for watching see you guys later goodbye